I have a really good feeling about this particular castle. Um, even just working on it for a little bit, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I went out of my way to get some more cherry blossom and white cherry blossom seeds and some more cypress saplings, so I'm likely to use those. Uh, I actually, while you guys were gone, I collected a few ponies. Because uh, I let all the ones at my other castle die off um, because I knew I was going to be gone for two weeks for my break. And I didn't want to have to worry about it, so I just let them perish. <laughs> I know that's messed up, but I decided to bring some more back just to live out here in this little area. Uh, this is kind of what I have envisioned for this little courtyard uh, area here. I kind of want to have a place where the horses can just chill. I think I'm also going to add... Um, some more fencing here so I'm gonna add like a little pathway here and another gate here just so that the horses can't just like freely escape not that they can move or anything it's just I think visually it makes sense I was able to return a couple of games I got on Steam uh, during like Christmas and uh, I just reused the money instead to just get Pal World so now I'm doing like a silent series on my YouTube channel of Pal World, just no commentary. Uh, you know, just footage of the game, because like... I don't know, I, I don't have... Um, I, I kind of don't want to stream the game. Uh, not because I don't like the game or I don't think that it's cool or anything like that. I do enjoy it, but I just don't want to stream it. It's not part of my... Uh, focus currently and I don't want to make the mistake of getting distracted knowing that you know this game which is the one I've spent most of my time making content for is about to release soon so um you know I, I I'm not too worried about it if that makes sense uh I mean I know it's within the survival genre as well so it's not like I, it doesn't belong on the channel it's just that I don't want to focus that on stream if that makes sense. I'd rather stay consistent with what games I'm streaming, um, but I don't mind making content on Pal World as long as, you know, as long as I can, because I just, um, I can't really record, like I don't have the quiet in my home to record uh, out of stream hours usually, so I have to like kind of be wary of that. Everyone on Pal World, yeah, everyone, it's like, uh, it's like a, it's like a drug addiction. There was this one guy who, I remember I was in another chat, uh, watching another stream earlier today, and there was a guy in the chat who was like, help, I'm having withdrawals, and I'm like, what do you mean withdrawals? And they said they were having Pal World withdrawals, and they said that they played 15 hours of Pal World and, like, so far, and I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> um, I, I'm about nine hours in myself, nine, ten hours, I think. But, uh, I'm not too worried about it, you know. It, it's a, it's a fun gameplay loop, for sure. But I'm not, um, experiencing withdrawals, uh, <laughs> I assure you. What do you think... V Rising can take away from the success of Power World as a fellow indie game. What can they take away? Mm. I think there should be more frequent updates. Uh, not. I know that has nothing to do with <laughs> your question, but that's what I want, man. I don't know. It's weird to like play two games that are part of a similar genre, right? Oh, I forgot to put teleport pads in here. Okay. Um. They're really similar in genre, but because like they're both survival games, right? But the objective is completely different. So my brain is like having a hard time coming up with a good answer. <laughs> Maybe give servants more uses. Uh, I believe they had some plans uh, cooking up for that actually. Um, in a previous update, the devs mentioned something about uh, They've been listening to player feedback regarding servants and, you know, the change wasn't ready to come out when Gloomrock came out. So, you know, I, I don't know what those changes actually entail. They haven't specified anything, so I have no idea. Um, I think increased functionality for servants would be nice, sure. 
Um, but I also think there needs to maybe be like a mechanism to keep servants from being outside of the coffin. So like, for example, I wish I could interact with like a servant and there'd be a button that says return to coffin and it just returns them to coffin, you know, kind of like a pokeball or something. Give the game something to collect. Servants can take some of the role, like what the pals do. Mm, I kind of disagree only because we already use the castle heart. I mean, the castle heart makes everything just work on its own, you know? Actually, I have an idea. How about, I don't know how they would implement this, but here's an idea. What if they were to take what the, um, like what the servants are able to do and they make it so that you can uh, tell your servants to sort containers for you. So like, for example, like, let's say I have a container that has just gems in it. I wish there was like some way to designate that as the gem, as the official gem chest and then have your servants uh, take stuff out of a grab chest and just sort it out for you. Oh, you know what's something else I just thought of too that would be nice? I wish we had like a wheat field or not a wheat field, maybe a wheat field or something where we could just place like, I like how in Power World... Okay, you know what? This is my answer. This is my answer. I started like five sentences at the same time, but here's my answer. I think the farming of resources. So, for example, like when you have like the berry planter plot thing, or like if you have like the, the wheat field thing, I wish we had something like that in V Rising that we could plant, or sorry, that we could uh, assign to servants so that they could like just get plant fibers because like plant fibers for me are like the one item i have to go out of my way to get i hate getting plant fibers all right it's looking really good let's do an aerial view of the castle and see uh our progress from there i like to go around oh yeah you see how this light is like dim that's how I know I, I'm I'm going kind of deep. When I when I see like lamps dimming like this, even from the sky, I know that there's too many lamps, and it's causing an issue. This castle is coming out really nicely. I I want to add more shrubbery, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I did say the thing. I guess it makes me happy to see a bunch of plants living and uh, thriving in my castles. Something about it brings me great joy. A few months ago, we started to clap like seals every time you said it. <laughs> and it just stinks. <laughs> I think it actually originated from a Planet Zoo stream I did a while back. I think uh, when I first started streaming, I want to say probably like the first couple streams I was doing like Planet Zoo content. This was before Gloomrot. So like I started streaming like about a month before Gloomrot uh, dropped. So when I was streaming, I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm gonna play some Planet Zoo and I'm gonna play some shrubbery. I think instead of having like um, this kind of flooring, I'm gonna make the rare exception and actually add grass on a second floor. It's gonna be weird as hell, but I think with a pathing, like with a gravel path, it'll look nice. So I'm gonna try and do something different. Hopefully I don't come to regret it. Oh my god, what the f- Bruh. Dude, this tree! Don't tell me they're all gonna do this. It's messing up everything! <laughs> oh, you know what? Ironically, it's kind of placed it almost in the center of the aisle, and I kind of like it. But then the things look empty. I can't plant anything there. I wonder if I did this. <gasps> what? Wait, it's just gonna keep moving? What is this, leapfrog? What the fuck? Bruh. You can't make this shit up. You can't make- I'm just making it worse. I didn't even plan on- Oh my god. What the fuck? Bruh. Look at this. What the f- Bruh. I can't. I can't right now. 
I have trees everywhere now. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'm gonna go on like an ad break. I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I'm dead. I can't believe I died like that. That was so stupid. <laughs>